Hello, welcome to this part of the course. In this part of this course, we are going to take three practical exercises to help us understand all what we've been studying. And in each of these exercises, I will recommend that you pause the video and try to come up with a possible solution such that at the end you can go you can be able to evaluate and see if you're meeting up to the expectation of the course and so that you can able to help you evaluate yourself so we'll go right into the first question the first question is about product and category so we have two kinds of entity a product and a category for each product, we keep it. We keep its ID, the identifier, name, price, who see, who price, and profit margin, which is calculated from the price and the who see price. For each category, we keep its ID, the identifier, and its name. Each product belongs to zero or more category, and each category can have zero or more product. You can pause the video at this point and try to come up with a solution. Then in the next slide, I'm going to show you the correct solution. So this is the correct solution of the exercises. The video say we have product and category as entity. And for each product, we keep its ID as the identifier, its name, its price, and its whole sales price. We also keep its profit margin, which is computed from the price and whole sales price. So profit margin is a derived attribute, and we use broken line because it is computed from two other attributes. Now, we also go to the next part of the question that says, each category, we keep its ID as identifier and its name. So we have a category. We keep its ID as identifier. ID is an identifier, so we underline it the same here. ID was identifier, so we underlined it. So we have the ID and the name. Uh, they are attributes of the category. And the, la the last part of the question says, each product belongs to zero or more category, and each category can have zero or more product. So each product, one product, belongs to zero or more category. This is the cardinality. And one category can have zero or more product. So this is the correct solution of the equation. And this is a many-to-many -many relationship because the maximum cardinality for the product is many. And the, the maximum cardinality of the category is many. So we look at the two maximum cardinality and we have many to many relationship. So we are going now to the next question. The next question is called CD and we are going to model a CD. So it goes right. We want to model a CD as an entity. The only entity in this, the only entity is the CD and everything else is modeled as attributes. A CD has a number, which is its identifier. A CD has a title. A CD has zero or more performers. Each performer can keep its first and last name. Each performer will keep their first and last name, sorry. A CD has zero or more songs. For each song, we keep its title and the name of its author, which with name divided into first and last. So the name of the author is divided into first and last name. So this is the question. You can pause the video at this point and try to come up with a solution. And then in the next slide, I'm going to show you the correct solution. So this is the solution. We, the question goes that we have to model a CD as an entity and we have just one entity called CD. So in the, in the solution, we have just one entity called CD. 
it goes right to saying a CD has a number which is the identifier so oh, so a CD has a number which is the identifier so we underline it a CD has a title so the CD has a title as a simple attribute a CD has zero or more performers so performer is an attribute because the equation says everything else is modeled as an attribute so a CD has a performer zero or more performer and each performer we keep it we keep their first and last name so a CD has performer is and and a CD can have zero or more performer indicating that performer is a multi-valued attribute so it can have many value for one CD one CD has many performer and for each of these performer we keep the first and the last name so performer is multi-value and at the same time it is a composite attribute meaning it has two other attributes it also goes to say for each song we keep its title and the name of its author so the CD has a song CD has zero or more song and for each song we keep its title and the name of the author so a CD has a song it can have zero or more song means song is a multi-valued attribute and for each song we keep its title and the author meaning songs is also a composite attribute and for each author you see we, we divide the author name into first and last name so the author can have the first and the last name so this is the question you can take time and go through it over again and make sure you understand everything and then I will give the last question this is the last question it's called CD exercise 2 we are still going to look at the CD model and try to model it in another way by giving another relationship other relationship of the CD so in this question we are going to relate the CD model the CD entity with person and song as entity so in this case person it will be an entity and song will be an entity there are three entity this is a very good question to cover most of the things we've studied in the question in this course so it is very important you follow up with the question so now let's model a CD but with person and song as entity a CD has a number which is its identifier and a title a person has an ID and a name a song has an ID and a title and a length so the length of the song is there we keep track of which person is a song's author a person can author many songs and a song has exactly one author we keep track of which person perform on a CD zero or more people perform on a CD and people can perform on zero or more CD we keep track of which songs are included in a CD one or more songs can include in can include one or more songs are included on a CD and a song is included in more in one or more CD so you can go through the question over again and make sure you understand it and at this point you can pause the video and I will show you the correct question solution and we can compare with what you've had so this is the solution of the question and we are going to go through it step by step so the first thing is saying that a CD has a number which is its identifier and a title so this is our CD it has a number which is the identifier so we underline it and a title so a CD has its a person has an ID and a name so we go to the next entity person he has an ID which is identifier and a name so 
a song has an ID which is also the identifier a title and a length the length of the song so a song has an ID identifier title and the length so these are the three entities CD person and type and a song so we keep track now we are talking now about the relationship we keep track of which person is a song's author so we want to keep track of which person is a song's author so there's a relationship between person and song and we are calling that relationship author and a person can author many songs and a song has exactly one author so a person one person can author many songs zero or more songs so the minimum in this case is zero a person can order author many songs so zero or more song and one song can be author by one and only one person so the minimum is one and the maximum is one so one song can be authored by one and only one person and the next part of the relationship says we keep track of which person perform on a CD so we want to create a relationship between person and CD and we are calling it perform so person perform on a CD and person perform a CD zero or more people perform on a CD and people can perform on zero or more CD so zero or more people perform on the CD and people can perform on zero or more CD we'll go and check it zero so we're keeping relationship between person and CD and we say for a CD zero or more people can perform on a CD so on a CD we can have zero or more people or person performing on that CD and for a person one person can also have zero or more CD so yeah keep track zero or more people perform on a CD and a person or a people can perform on zero or more CDs so a person can perform on zero or more CDs and we go to the last relationship is we keep track of which songs are included on a CD so which songs are included on a CD so songs are included on a CD songs includes CD so the relationship is called includes we can give a good name if you think um, it makes it clear but I think include is good so song includes on a CD and one or more songs are included on a CD so let's see one or more songs are included on a CD so one CD has one or more songs one or more songs so we write one and our, more, our many cardinality and a song is included in one or more CD so a song is included in one or more CD so one or more songs are included on a CD so one CD has one or more songs and one song has one or more CD so that is the solution of the third exercise practical exercise and I hope you understand it if not you go through the solution over again to make sure that you understand because in the next slides you are gonna be using this design to understand the next section of this course so at this point if you have any doubt you make sure you go through the video over again okay I'm happy you've gone through this part of the lecture and I will see you in the next lecture. Bye.